The workforce or labor force, labor force in American English, see spelling differences, is the labor pool in employment. It is generally used to describe those working for a single company or industry, but can also apply to a geographic region like a city, state, or country. Within a company, its value can be labeled as its workforce in place. The workforce of a country includes both the employed and the unemployed. The labor force participation rate (LFPR) or economic activity rate (EAR) is the ratio between the labor force and the overall size of their cohort, national population of the same age range. The term generally excludes the employers or management and can imply those involved in manual labor. It may also mean all those who are available for work. Formal and informal Formal labor is any sort of employment that is structured and paid in a formal way. Unlike the informal sector of the economy, formal labor within a country contributes to that country's gross national product. Informal labor is labor that falls short of being a formal arrangement in law or in practice. It can be paid or unpaid and it is always unstructured and unregulated. Formal employment is more reliable than informal employment. Generally, the former yields higher income and greater benefits and securities for both men and women. Informal labor The contribution of informal laborers is immense. Informal labor is expanding globally, most significantly in developing countries. According to a study done by Jacques Charmes, in the year 2000 informal labor made up 57% of non-agricultural employment, 40% of urban employment, and 83% of the new jobs in Latin America. That same year, informal labor made up 78% of non-agricultural employment, 61% of urban employment, and 93% of the new jobs in Africa. Particularly after an economic crisis, laborers tend to shift from the formal sector to the informal sector. This trend was seen after the Asian economic crisis, which began in 1997. Topic: Informal labor and gender. Gender is frequently associated with informal labor. Women are employed more often informally than they are formally, and informal labor is an overall larger source of employment for females than it is for males. Women frequent the informal sector of the economy through occupations like home-based workers and street vendors. The Penguin Atlas of Women in the World shows that in the 1990s, 81% of women in Benin were street vendors, 55% in Guatemala, 44% in Mexico, 33% in Kenya, and 14% in India. Overall, 60% of women workers in the developing world are employed in the informal sector. The specific percentages are 84% and 58% for women in sub Saharan Africa and Latin America, respectively. The percentages for men in both of these areas of the world are lower, amounting to 63% and 48%, respectively. In Asia, 65% of women workers and 65% of men workers are employed in the informal sector. Globally, a large percentage of women that are formally employed also work in the informal sector behind the scenes. These women make up the hidden workforce. <laughs> agricultural and non-agricultural labor Formal and informal labor can be divided into the subcategories of agricultural work and non-agricultural work. Martha Chen et al. believe these four categories of labor are closely related to one another. 
A majority of agricultural work is informal, which the Penguin Atlas for Women in the World defines as unregistered or unstructured. Non-agricultural work can also be informal. According to Martha Chen, informal labor makes up 48% of non-agricultural work in North Africa, 51% in Latin America, 65% in Asia, and 72% in Sub-Saharan Africa. Agriculture and gender The agricultural sector of the economy has remained stable in recent years. According to the Penguin Atlas of Women in the World, women make up 40% of the agricultural labor force in most parts of the world, while in developing countries they make up 67% of the agricultural workforce. Joni Seeger shows in her atlas that specific tasks within agricultural work are also gendered. For example, for the production of wheat in a village in northwest China, men perform the plowing, the planting, and the spraying, while women perform the weeding, the fertilizing, the processing, and the storage. In terms of food production worldwide, the Atlas shows that women produce 80% of the food in sub Saharan Africa, 50% in Asia, 45% in the Caribbean, 25% in North Africa and in the Middle East, and 25% in in Latin America. A majority of the work women do on the farm is considered housework and is therefore negligible in employment statistics. <laughs> Paid and unpaid Paid and unpaid work are also closely related with formal and informal labor. Some informal work is unpaid, or paid under the table. Unpaid work can be work that is done at home to sustain a family, like child care work, or actual habitual daily labor that is not monetarily rewarded, like working the fields. Unpaid workers have zero earnings, and although their work is valuable, it is hard to estimate its true value. The controversial debate still stands. Men and women tend to work in different areas of the economy, regardless of whether their work is paid or unpaid. Women focus on the service sector, while men focus on the industrial sector. <laughs> <laughs> unpaid labor and gender Women usually work fewer hours in income generating jobs than men do. Often it is housework that is unpaid. Worldwide, women and girls are responsible for a great amount of household work. The Penguin Atlas of Women in the World, published in 2008, stated that in Madagascar, women spend 20 hours per week on housework, while men spend only two. In Mexico, women spend 33 hours and men spend 5 hours. In Mongolia the housework hours amount to 27 and 12 for women and men respectively. In Spain, women spend 26 hours on housework and men spend 4 hours. Only in the Netherlands do men spend 10% more time than women do on activities within the home or for the household. The Penguin Atlas of Women in the World also stated that in developing countries, women and girls spend a significant amount of time fetching water for the week, while men do not. For example, in Malawi, women spend 6.3 hours per week fetching water, while men spend 43 minutes. Girls in Malawi spend 3.3 hours per week fetching water, and boys spend 1.1 hours. Even if women and men both spend time on household work and other unpaid activities, this work is also gendered. <laughs> Unearned pay and gender In the United Kingdom in 2014, two-thirds of workers on long-term sick leave were women, despite women only constituting half of the workforce, even after excluding maternity leave. Topic: 
United States employment by sector Below is a chart taken from the United States Bureau of Labor Statistics. It is a list of job classifications and the annual growth rate in each category. Unemployment in the United States Unemployment is defined as the number of able men and women of working age seeking employment. When unemployment percentages are shown it does not categorize all men and women who are out of work. It only accounts for the men and women who are actively seeking employment. To those who are no longer looking for work they are simply categorized as out of the workforce. As of February 2018 the unemployment rate for the United States was 4.1%. The below is a list of unemployment rates from the Bureau of Labor Statistics since 2000. As of 2010 in the United States, 123 million women aged 16 years and over have worked in the U.S., 72 million, or 58.6%, were working or looking for work. Women are projected to account for 51% of the increase in total labor force growth between 2008 and 2018. As of 2010 women make up 47% of the total U.S. labor force. 66 million women were employed in the U.S. 73% of employed women worked on full-time jobs, while the remainder 27% worked part-time. The different career paths women work in were, 40.6% management, professional, and related occupations, 32% worked in sales and office occupations, 21.3% in service occupations, 5.2% in production, transportation, and material moving occupations, and 0.9% in natural resources, construction, and maintenance occupations. The largest percentage of employed Asian 46.1%, white 40.6%, and black women 33.8%. Hispanic women showed their strongest attachment to service occupations at 33.2%. The unemployment rate for women was 8.6%. Among female race, ethnic groups, Asian women continue to have the lowest unemployment rate of 7.5%. For white women, it was 7.7%, Hispanic women 12.3%, and black women, 13.8%. See also Collective bargaining Contingent workforce Division of labor Employment to population ratio Female labor force in the Muslim world Feminization of poverty Human capital List of countries by labor force List of countries by sector composition of the labor force Proletariat Unemployment